God is moving. Let's take you straight to Lagos, Nigeria for this testimony. Lagos Live. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Mark Ayanewose. I'm a member of Deeper Life Bible Church. I worship at Mountain Street location, Bakura Group, DSCC, Lagos, Nigeria. I want to testify of the goodness of God in my life. During the last global crusade, the October edition, God healed me of a long standing sickness. It happened in 2008. I suddenly discovered that. My urine is not flowing normally. I thought it is because of my age and I did nothing about it. And later I discovered that it is difficult for me to even urinate at all. It doesn't come out. So I went to the hospital and the doctor asked me to go for a scan. I did a scan and the result shows that there is a mass inside my bladder that blocked the flow of the urine and that uh, I need to do operation first of all to take a sample of that uh, mass for a laboratory test I went that operation was done but for fear of uh, eternal bleeding they said they could not take the sample so I went home and uh, I just continued to live live with the problem until the, the Saturday of the last global crusade, I was in the crusade and uh, while the message was still going on, I had the urge to go and urinate. So I got up, I went to urinate and uh, lo and behold, an object came from my sister and uh, the urine now started flowing, you know, without uh, stopping until I emptied my bladder. This is something that has never happened since 2008 when this problem started, that I would stand and empty my bladder at once. But that, same, that very, very day, all the urine came out of my bladder and uh, I said, God, this has not happened to me before for a long time. I was very happy. I know that God did a miracle for me. So I, I went to the congregation. I sat down. On the following Monday, to that crusade, I went for Bible study. When we closed, as I was going home, I also had the urge to urinate. I urinated. Then another object came out of me, and uh, I sprang my torch. I snapped the object with uh, my old camera. If you see that object, uh, you will know that God has done great miracle in my life. I'm so happy and grateful to God. I give all the glory, all the honor and adoration to God for what he has done for me. May his name the Lord be glorified forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Your hands for Jesus. Your hands for Jesus. God is still moving in the midst of the people. See people coming out for testimonies. Please, if you have just received your miracles, count my left hand side here so that they will, they will uh, interview so that they will come and testify. The Lord is moving. My name is Salabi Ayodeji, Olorumeye. I thank God for what God did for me. Uh, actually, in 2020, I was diagnosed of uh, diabetes. And uh, it was so traumatic. I was told the sugar level went up to 18 points and above. And uh, it was so, uh, so serious that uh, to bring it down to six points was very difficult. But um, uh, I thank God that uh, God eventually took control. Uh, it was hectic on me. I found it difficult even to see because my, I had blood vision 
I was having a frequent urination, a lot of headaches and a lot of problems associated with that. Uh, but uh, at the GCK June edition of this year, uh, God used our pastor, the GS, the servant of God, to pray for us. And uh, through that prayer, I became healed and the sugar level came down to even lower than the normal rate. Uh, but uh, I thank God that even up to now, the sugar level is stable. Up to this morning, uh, there is no problem about uh, uh, diabetes again. Then also, I also had the ulcer. This ulcer uh, is associated with excruciating pains. I couldn't eat anything, uh, cassava. If I take gari, it was difficult and uh, my stomach would be aching and uh, be uh, jacking me and all that. So, but I thank God also that at the, the GCK program of uh, August, that is uh, the triumphant power at Tondo, God healed me through the prayer of the man of God. I became totally healed and now I am okay by God's grace and uh, all those things are over now. I want to use this opportunity also to uh, tell everybody that God is still working. God is still alive. As you believe the prayer of the man of God in this edition of GCK this month, the Lord God Almighty is going to heal you. God is going to do wonders in your life. And I want to also thank God for our Father in the Lord, our, the man of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, for this GCK. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And Oluwato Sin on YouTube wrote, God has touched my family, most especially blessing us with the fruit of the womb after the February crusade this year. And we now have our baby as the man of God prophesied in February. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And from YouTube, we bring you this, Samuel Munachimso, who is saying that thank God for the restoration of my speech. No more traces of autism and HDHD he is healed. The power that never fails has done the work. Wumi from the United Kingdom wrote, that has been going through a circle of chemotherapy. The pain has been so much throughout the night, unable to sleep. But yesterday, as she connected the glory of God all the way from Nigeria extended to the United Kingdom, and all the cancer pains vanished away. Praise the Lord. Yes, and this is coming from Okole Sharon from YouTube, who says that five years of severe stomach ulcer has been healed after the final amen. Something very unique about our final amen. At the mention of the final amen last night, I discovered that the pains and the symptoms and everything ceased until now. I feel no more pains. I am free. Growth once again, bowing to the name of Jesus. The name is Oral Moksekele. It melted up just after the prayer of the man of God, as Okigwe Rotimi wrote in YouTube. Praise the Lord. And now we return to the moderating overseer. Praise the Lord. Your amen is like detached amen. I said, praise the Lord. I told you that our Father and the Lord told us that tonight we're going to have explosion. We're going to have explosion of miracles. That God is going to work mightily. And now we're going to confirm, wait and see. Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Dr. Paul Drogaramanga, a current practicing medical doctor. Here with me, we have our sister that have a testimony to share. To the glory of the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. No, now go to my Ubangaji, now go to my Allah. Sunana, my Rama Ibrahim. Now go in the one of the Samini, not a Chakara, build a water there. Bana iya tafia haka banda sandana ba bana iya tashi ni tafia haka ba. Amayo na tashi ina tafia banda sanda. 
na gode ma ubangiji na gode ma baba ina dokun Allah ya sake bani lafiya ya kai min lafiya fiye da haka na warke har abada in zama kamar tafiya na yafina da na gode na gode na gode haleluya her name is mariamu ibrahim kujira she had fall from a, a gathering and people trample on her and after that incident she had a broken a tie she was operated on twice and uh, at the end she was given this walker and she has been using it as a, the only aid to work with for the last one year two years and one month but as the man of god prayed today the power of god touched her and you saw how she walked in and this is the walker she is walking back put Thank your hands together for jesus see let her, her going walk. with let her, her daughter walk. let her walk Thank you, Jesus. This is nothing but the power of God. Put your hand together for Jesus. Mama, you will not use that thing again. Amen. Praise the Lord. Actually, our sister that left had two surgeries on her hip. She had hip replacement twice. And she was not able to walk without that aid. As you can see, she walked out, and the Lord has healed her. Our sister here also has a testimony to share to the glory of God. Daniel. <laughs> Ubangiji Allah ya warkar da ni Allah ya warkar da ni yau Sunana Maryam Daniel shekara hudu ina fama da wannan damuwa bana iya tafiya yau na yi sauki yau na warke Allah na gode maka Hallelujah Her name is Maryam Daniel she had a stroke and a paralysis that affected her for 4 years but after the man of God has prayed, you can see how she walk. She was walking until she is walking wonderfully. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. She had a right hemorrhagic stroke. She was not able to walk, but as you can see her now, she's walking to the glory of the Lord. She has gotten her healing. Thank you. Put your hands together for Jesus. Can you imagine? She couldn't walk before. See how she's walking perfectly well. Your hands for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Oh, the power that never fails is walking here. Believe the Lord. Your own is even happening now. Because it's a miracle working God.
We have all nine now. Before we continue with the other location. Out, we serve a God of miracle. Miracles happening in the Alpha location, happening also at the same time online. Yes, online we have this one coming from YouTube. This person calls himself Real Talk with Damn Diva, and he says, "I was having pain in my lower abdomen, but after the prayer of the man of God, the pain is gone. I feel free." Trisha T. Also, confessed of pains disappeared as Treasure of Juku says, I thank Jesus for healing us, myself, and my brother. The Lord has done it again. Yes, he has done it indeed. And from YouTube still, Okwara Samuel says, I had moving objects in my body. I've gone for so many medical interventions to no prevail, but tonight... After the prayer of the man of God, the moving objects stopped. I feel no pain no more. And now I believe I'm free. Some writings on YouTube just depict total joy. As Kamala Fel Molayo depicted writing, glory be to God. I came to the crusade very, very sick. But at the end of the GS prayers and that final amen. Something about a final amen. Complete healing took place. And Omolayo Komolafe is celebrating and rejoicing right now on YouTube. Yes, indeed. And this one is coming from Taiwo Alaje, who says, Praise God. I'm the liver tonight. Prior to this time, I've been having this excruciating pains at the back of my head. It's been causing me so many this so much discomfort despite taking medications. But tonight, after the prayer of the man of God, I discovered that the pains is gone. I moved my neck, moved my head here and there, and the pain is gone and gone forever. No doubt, we serve a God of miracles, and miracles are happening live in Adamawa State. Back to the moderating overseer. Miracles are happening live here in the Alpha location. Now we are going to listen to, as they are continuing uh, interviewing the people, we should, now have, uh, we should have one testimony more while they continue interviewing others. Now go the wa Allah me eco. Soon enough, Catherine Malum the Kafo for the local government. Tia Karudu Biar Sida, Pugado Naka, Bayayi, Hanunda Naka, Bayayi, A mother eco Ubangiji, that Nanganje says your Mahula, Banayan, our uncle, I don't know Fadi Hanu Yakita. Naja. Likitosh sungwa da ain scanning hanu haka apade, but the will of God he go ubangizing Allah matauka ki naje kada mun ansa ke ankariya da hanu hanu na ya kumbra haka haka nike tafia hotel masna na ain scanning tu kai nanan ama he go ubangizing Allah ubangizing matauka ki dia ana adua nan saying hanu haka hungwa da haka kuatua bazai mama yang zani zani haka 
zan juye zai haka zai haka iko ubangiji Allah ya warkata ni na gode Yesu kai zan gode da yari wake mun na gode wani ga yamba wani ga yamba na gode baba na yi murna ne da wani gode Hallelujah. Her name is Catherine Malum. She had a dislocation the six years back, and she could not use this hand. They have taken her to Kadomo, where they used to tie the hand natively, and the hand swelled up. She could not use her hand to tie her headgear or swing it, but as you can see from her swinging and lifting up the hands, as the man of God prayed yesterday night, God touched her hands, and she lifted it up. Mama Daga, lift up the hands. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. The power that never fails has perfected the miracle. Sunana Messi Ruben. Agaskia Nago de Wa Allah. Nina Chekaru Na Chekaru Napo. Okay. A two two A ninety two. A ninety two. A ninety two. Na ye accident. To na samu sauki amma daga baya bana iya tashi da kafa na ba sai dai yau da naji wannan church din nazo na shebari zan yi kuma nazo na gani ga sandana na doka a hannu haka ina tafi da kafa na ga kafa na gashi a hannu na tafi da kafa na na tafi a can na sake na dawo nan na gode wa Allah na gode wa Allah amen her name is Mercy she had an accident in 1992 yes. and she had this challenge with her health and she dislocated her her, 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 her leg yes. but the lord yesterday through the man of god prayer she can walk. She used to walk with this walking aid, but now you can see her standing firm on her feet to the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. I said, put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord will do your own. I said, the Lord will do your own. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. Na gode wa Allah. Ya inda Allah ya kawo wannan taro. Na tashi sunana. My name is Jadiel David. Daga 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 region na Guyuk. Gaskiya na zo taro nan ma ni ban sa samani zan yan kara sa wannan taron ba. Jiya da aduan baba da aduan aduan baba na yau jiya ina da kumburiya baki na ya tafi kirjina baya ya dami bana iya in yi wani abu mai karbi sai dai in yi don dole kuma ba don son rayina amma a cikin sunan yesu aduan baba da ya yi addu'a da na ta nima zamin ikon da ikon da annabi annabi elisha ya karba na fauta iliya Ya san ko akai na na gode baba na gode praise the lord hallelujah his name is JJ David he has chest pain and throat pain and the chest pain was so excruciating yesterday but as the man of god pray the power of god touch him and you can see him jubilating and uh, 
exhibiting what God has done to the glory of God. Chest pain, gone. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Interpreter. Since September 18th, Martina John, the mama here, had a stroke and paralysis in her legs, but God healed her after the prayer of the man of God. You can see her walking and moving. Put your hands together for Jesus. As you praise the name of the Lord. Oh, what a wonderful day. 